Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Denver Metro audits as he attempts to retrieve some cell phone records from a police department. But there's a problem. Somebody screwed up on the paperwork. And guess what? It's him. Now he's got to suffer the consequences, but he blames it on everybody else but him. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I understand Hi. you have some questions. Yeah. Can I get your name? What can I do for you? Can I get your name? Sure, it's Mike Mosco. Do you have a card? I do. Do you have one? A card? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a card. I might give it to you in here after the interaction. I'd like to get it now, while we're doing the interaction. Oh, Everything's okay. going to be recorded, right? No, it's okay. I'm going to give you my card. Okay. There's my card, as you can see. It's upside down, but sure. That's okay. There, no, it's not. Right. Mike Moscow, thank you, sir. Oh, so, uh, you can see, guys, he, he took his cell phone out of there? It's my personal cell, so... Why would no, you have I don't your personal cell phone on your, <laughs> on your business card? Because that's why I do things. Okay. What can I do so for you, sir? So you have your cell phone on here for people to have, and you what can have I do it on for you, sir? Have it on there, right? Mr. Not... What can I do for you? Look at him, guys. He's doxing me. I'm so... doxing you. Oh yeah, you are. He's not doxing you. Your name is well known all over the internet, and he doesn't give out any other personal information. So how is he doxing you, Christopher Cordova? Oops. This is the live stream, so that's fine. What can I do for so you? So we got this guy, obviously, uh, who's being you know, totally unprofessional. No, I'm not. What, I, what can I do for you? So, um, Mr. Moscow, I have filled Sco, out. There's no W at the end of my name. Okay, Moscow. Look at this guy. So I, uh, I filled out a public records request over a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Deborah Swenson, I needed to get the footage off of her cell phone. Our city attorney will be responding to that. Okay, so the thing is, they core laws. You guys have three business days to respond. It's been over Can a month. Can I see that? That was filled out with the wrong department. Oh no, DMA! You didn't make a mistake, did you? You didn't fill it off the wrong department, did you? Well, it looks like you made a boo boo. I was told to go down here and fill it out. I did exactly what you guys had told me to do, and I have the whole thing on recording. Okay. So. As I said, sir, our city attorney will be responding to that. What else can I do for you? Okay, so when are they going to respond? Because they're already in violation of the law? That's our city attorney's office. I don't mandate when they will respond. Okay, so, um, uh, you don't mandate, so it doesn't matter that you guys are in violation of law, you just don't have any... Is there anything else thing. I can so, do for you, sir? Who's the custodian of these records? Is there anything else I yes, can I'm do? Yes, I'm asking you a question. Who's the custodian? First of all, you need to just chill out, bro. No, Stop I being so though. unprofessional and rude. ruh -roh, look who's projecting. Okay. Okay, this I is unacceptable. your name. Yeah. Is there anything else now, I can I'm do I'm asking you another question. Stop being rude. Who is the custodian of these records? I'm not sure which records you're looking for. I just told you, sir. Deborah you... Swenson is taking the, taking the photos of me on her personal cell phone. Those are criminal justice records. So those are CCJRAs? Yes. Okay, so there's there's actually no time frame for CCJRAs. It's a little bit more tricky, but you guys have to provide me with a, a you have to cite an actual reason for not giving me the records. Our city attorney will respond. And, but hold on a second, sir. Stop cutting me off. I'm answering your question. And I'm not even along. done speaking yet. See, okay, because the way a conversation works is one person talks and then when they're Thank done, you, sir. you respond. Done. No, we're not done. We're done. Look at this clown right here, guys. Look at how rude and unprofessional you okay, are. Okay, if you're going to talk to me, you're not going to call me a clown. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to call you a clown whenever I want. What okay. are you going to do? You go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I'm going to call you a clown whenever I want. Yes, Freedom sir. of speech, buddy. You don't tell me nothing. You're not my okay, boss. Okay, buddy. Yeah, pal. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. 
you're not my boss, bud. You've been totally unprofessional, totally rude. Dawn over here, I've been totally nice to her because she knows how to treat members of the public. You come over here with a chip on your shoulder. You dox me, say my last name on the live stream. Is you're a your tyrant, bud. You're a tyrant. I never even gave you because guys I know my last your name. name. Is oh, that is some major displaced anger right there. You're not helping this situation by attacking this officer. You need psychological help. I never even gave you my guys Get my last name, but, my you, but you did that anyways. I'll, what are you going to do, bud? I'm not going to do anything. Right I'm asking right you to be professional and courteous. You are the one not being professional, sir. You, be professional you guys are in violation of the law. No, we're not. Yes, you are. You didn't, it's did a misdemeanor, you sir. Did you serve this on me? Work. Did you serve this on me? No, you didn't. And so there's the main problem right there, as it has been addressed a few times already. You did not serve it to the right people, and you are responsible for that, not him. So why don't you lay off? So whoever the custodian is of the record, sir, uh, it, it can be punishable by $100 and up to 90 days in the county jail. Okay, so it's against the law. You guys are violating the law. You guys are law enforcement officers. Yet you're violating the law. Do you understand that? What law has been violated? You're the one who committed the snafu. You're the one who's responsible, you blockhead. I want to know why you were directed to get the wrong form when you came to fill this out. Again, I, when, when may is I see the, when your is, form? When is may the, uh, I see your form? May I hold your form, Here you sir? Go. Hold it. Okay, your name is not free American. This so this is a non-entity. Look at it, guys. You can't help. You can't help it. You know my name's already out there. It's fine. The people know my name, but that's so that's, this that's has totally to be filled out by a person. So would it show the unprofessionalism? No, I'm not being unprofessional. Free American. Yep. Right. Yeah, free American. So I don't who have filled to write this out? I do not have to give you my name to do a public records request, sir. You okay. should know that if you're the commander. But I'm Trust I'm me, trying to figure out who do we give this to. My email's right there. Is that your email? Yeah, or is this email. just a general? How do I know? Because I gave that again, email. But then Why again, would I give sir, an email that doesn't exist? Mr. Okay. I'm going to ask you to stop calling me that. To see if you're going to take what Bruce would, Williams. Uh, what would you like me to call you? Sir. Okay, sir. I will call you sir. Okay. So, again, our city attorney will respond to you. When, though? It's already been over a month. <laughs> I can't, I can't tell you when a city attorney will respond to you. No, I don't think that they're going to respond. I'm going to give you guys a couple days to respond now before I have to go file in district court because this is unacceptable, man. Okay. What so else can I do Your for attorney, you? they, for CCJRAs, they have to give you a reasonable amount of time. One month is not reasonable for a picture off somebody's phone. Okay. That's completely unreasonable. Okay. Depending so on you, what's reasonable to him. Right? I mean, I think, the judge, I think a judge would think that uh, 30 day, 33 days is unreasonable to get a picture off somebody's phone. Okay. Is it work days or calendar days, sir? Well, let's say it's work days then, so that would still be, I mean, I filled this out over a month ago. Okay. I what, think that's, what else can I do for you? That's probably uh, a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, well, how about you um, get on the phone with the attorney that handles this and see uh, what they're going to do, if they're going to review this, I can pick this up tomorrow. Okay, I'll drop everything this... else I have scheduled for today to honor your request. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, that is quite the poker face. I know you're being sarcastic, but here in a second you will see that Denver Metro audits will not see your sarcasm. I, I mean, I'd appreciate it since I'm a member of the public. Um, and I've been waiting for over a month. Do you live in Sheridan? Do I live in Sheridan? Is that any of your business if I live in Sheridan? Well, I serve the city of Sheridan. And guess what? I'm in the city of Sheridan right now. So okay. that means you serve me. You're no. a public servant. If I'm here in the city of Sheridan, you're serving okay. me. It doesn't Is there matter anything if I else I can here. do for you, sir? It doesn't matter if I live here. Is there anything else I can yeah, do for you? Yeah, I just told you. Let's get on the phone with uh, I the I don't have the a attorney. phone with me. Well, I'm sure you'll go get your phone then. Let's call him. We could, we could use a, I got a phone actually, why don't you just go get your cell phone and uh, let's call her up, put her on speaker or him. How about I'll do it when I have time. <laughs> When's I that going to be? Time. I don't know, I have other things that I was doing, but I had to break away from them to come up here and answer your questions. Oh, so I'm inconveniencing you by I having to say come that. up here? 
I took time away. No, I took time away from things I was doing for other citizens, sir, to come up here and answer your questions. But you have no consideration for what other people need. That is truly an apt observation in this regard. Look at this guy. I have no consideration for others. Really? That's what you're going to go with? Mm -hmm. I have no consideration for others? Mm -hmm. So how long would I have to wait before it would be reasonable for me to come Give down Give me a good here? number and I'll call you I back. Mean, is it six months? Is that reasonable enough for me I to come know. down here and bother you like to get I my said, records? Like I said, sir. A year? Give I mean, me a phone reasonable? number and I will call you as soon as I, I have talk my, You have my email. I'm not giving you my phone number. Okay, I'll email you. But I've emailed you in the past, sir, and you've been non-responsive. That was an awfully long pause right there. Did he catch you off script? I'm a busy man, just like you said. You're busy, too. Okay, but when you have asked for things, I have tried to comport with your request, and you have not responded. Well, this is the main thing. I know you were trying to respond to me over the uh, Sergeant Connolly uh, complaint. Commander Connolly. What's his name? Oh, Commander. Yeah, because he got a promotion. So, Commander Connolly. So, I have been responsive to your request, and you've but, been non responsive. You've been non responsive to the This is request. the first time I've known about this, sir. Well, I mean, I have it right here. I have a copy of it. It's the I first time I've in. seen it. Turn it in over a month ago. It's the first time I have seen it. DMA, do you have an extra go to 10 line that we don't know about? Because you keep on going in circles. We've been through this before. You turned it into the wrong. People, this is on you, not him. It doesn't matter if it's the first time you've seen it. Sure, it does. You can't hold me responsible for something. I can hold the custodian of records responsible. Okay, but I am not the custodian of records. Who is the custodian of records? I am not that person. Who is the custodian of records? I am not that person. Look at this guy. Who is the custodian of records? They are off today. They're off. What's their name? I work right down there. What's their name? I'm not going to give you their name. Yes, today. you have to no, give me their name, to. sir. Our, yes. attorney, our city attorney will provide you what? that information. Who is the custodian of records? Is there anything else you need, sir? Yes, I need to know who the custodian of records is. Uh, Jeffrey Martinez. Jeffrey Martinez. Why was it so difficult, man? That's it's a like chief of police. With you. No, it's not. Jeffrey Martinez is the custodian of records? Mm -hmm. So that the chief of police is in violation of the law here? I didn't say that. You That's what said, you're alluding to. You just said to. Jefferson uh, Martinez. I did say Jefferson. Custodian? Custodian of records. I did not say Martinez. Jefferson. I did not say Jefferson. What is it then? What's the first name? I already told you, sir. Martinez. You just said Martinez. You're recording, so re replay your recording. You're so rude. I'm not rude. I'm answering every one of your questions. <laughs> rude, condescending. Is there uh, anything else I can do for you, sir? If not, yes. I'm going to end this. You just said Martinez is the custodian of records. He is the chief of police. But you said he's the custodian of, re custodian of records, right? You said I was. I didn't say you're the. I asked. You said I should know, right? So yeah, I'm going to, Mr. Or sir, sorry, my bad. This is the first yeah. time I've seen that. Okay, so I will get you answers. I will email you at that email address, right, and let you know when the city attorney plans on referring, responding to you. I would appreciate that. Okay. I would appreciate but I, I get an email again, soon, like so, by today or tomorrow. Okay, but I need to see the email address. Yeah, right here. You want to make a copy of this? Yes, I do. I mean, you guys already have that is a copy. You guys have the original. I don't have this. Whoever do you took see? the records request has it, though. Well, this came up here. Okay, so this is general government. If you turn around, you can see that it says general government. I actually filled this out down there with the lady down there. But it came up here because this belongs up here. Okay, well, so then if you don't the mind, obligation is on you guys to find the correct department. If you don't That's mind, it. I'm going to write this down, but I have to go get a piece of paper, write okay, this down. Okay, write it down. Okay, and I will respond to you. So they just have this paperwork willy-nilly flying around. I guess, I guess so. I mean, he, he says that I'm, I, I'm paper, inconsiderate please. of others. Piece of paper, please. Because he's working on other stuff, because I've been waiting for a month, so I'm inconsiderate to even come down here. I guess I have the audacity to even come down here and try to get my public records request. Ah, twisting the narrative to your favor. You are quite the little devious scumbag. I mean, it's already been established throughout this video that you were at fault. You turned it into the wrong people. And this is what you get. A delayed process because you didn't follow it properly. Shame on me, I guess, guys. So this goes to you directly. It doesn't go to some 
general mailbox thing is fine. General mailbox? No, man, that's my that's my uh, email. If you email me on that, it'll come right onto my phone. As the other three that I sent you, that you were non-responsive. Exactly, I ignored those. Okay. Thank you. Well, since you admit that you ignored the emails, that still does not remove the responsibility off of your head whatsoever. You are still responsible for the failure in this process. You see, I'm the private citizen. I don't have to respond to your emails. You see how that works? You do have to respond if you want the gears to turn properly, dude. I can only imagine if I was back in college and I didn't respond to an email concerning my Pell Grant. Boy, I would have never finished college after that. Okay. See how you're the public servant? You see, sir? But if you ask me to do something and I respond to you because and you asked to do something. I didn't ask you to, ask do, you to do anything. I never asked you specifically. You asked to, to file anything. a complaint and I tried to be responsive to your request. So I want to make sure that that is the correct email. Please acknowledge that that's the correct email so you cannot say I am non-responsive. Yes. Okay. Good. In so the past, you said you couldn't read or write. That's correct. Okay, so you can read, right? Well, I, I never said that I can't read, but at times I can't write. That's true. That's why I need okay. reasonable accommodations. So we're to, done now, to sir. To, to write right? things out for We're me. done now, sir. Correct? Yeah, I guess So we're I can done. go be responsive to your demand. Look at this guy. I'm asking Man, a you question. You are so rude. Go be responsive to my demands. Look how you're talking to people. But I'm asking you. If we're done, I'm going to terminate this so I can go call the city attorney and leave a message so when he responds to me, I can send you an email. Yeah. You're dismissed. Thank you. Yeah. Leave my presence immediately. <laughs> Clown. I better get a response to yeah. Moscow. I say your name, clown, tell me that call you clown. I, I treat people with respect, you deserve respect, and you deserve none of it. Are you stupid or something? You deserve no respect, bud, the way you treat people. You're nothing but a coward in a clown suit, bud. And I better get a response or I will be filing in district court, I believe that. And you guys will all have to answer to the district court judge for violating the law, Mr. Law Enforcement Officer. Do better, man. Would you like to follow me to my office? I'm going to follow you as far as I can. That's Come on, true. let's go. Follow me to my office. Let's go. Let's go to the office. You know what happens when you cross that threshold, right? What happens? Well, you're, you're inviting me in. You no, said, I'm let's not. go to my office. I you said, said follow me like to my office. Nope. Well, there's Conley. You said, follow me to my office, bud. I thought you were inviting me in. Nope, you're not invited. <laughs> You know, if there's one thing I've learned in life to be a successful person, you don't want to blame others for the problems that you create. You want to be able to learn how to solve them, correct them, and move on to the next issue. If you have that mentality, you will be successful. But if you don't, you end up like a worthless pile of crap like this guy.